Have you heard the voice of Earth? Nurturing and soft, you imagine, don't you? And flirtatious and alluring too, for Mama, our creator, makes sweet love first to give life later. I saw a woman channel our ancestors, the women we came from. The women who wove, who talked amongst themselves, who cleaned and sewed, who were burnt alive if any strength was shown. Sisters and I gathered in a field, saged clean for us to feel the depth of one another in the arms of our mother. Nature grew around us, trees and flowering buds waved wet and wild, joining the symphony of girl talk. That is talk that talks of reckoning, talk that talks of change, talk that talks of politics but that takes away the blame, talk that talks of love and happens between hugs. Talk that talks great darkness into a new light. Talk that knows shadows cannot play during the night. So have you heard the voice of Earth? First lady in our ancestry line? I have. And she sounds... Not humble. Not sweet. Or soft or sensual, but piercing and broken, she screams. Her voice is yelling and crying. Her voice is tired and afraid. Her voice shatters window panes. Souls rise to the eyes and limp out of their frame. The voice will wake you from your slumber. The voice will change your ways, but first you must hear her and know that once heard, you will never be the same. There is a spider on the altar and fear in my sister's eyes. The music stops being music when the singing becomes a cry. I can't stop those screams. It's the scream of burning flesh. The scream of women raped and battered. The scream of childbirth and cut death. The scream of war, oil and money. The scream of gender hierarchy. The scream of black magic wailing for justice in a system where that isn't likely. It's the scream of dying breeds within this delicate balance of sublime. The scream of vulnerability finding voice through the heat of wine. The scream of traffic and trafficking. The scream of shame, bleach, sanitation and mutilation is the scream of dykes and activists starved of patriarchal appreciation. The screaming won't stop. My milk curdles and my cauldron fires up. I laugh because sometimes laughter is all we've got. So celebrate, the mother said. It came through the voice of Charlotte. A young woman used as a channel for our lineage of pain to beg. Celebrate me. Celebrate life. Dance. Hold each other and sing. Pain must stop here now, please. No more suffering. So save your mother. Save her in every move you make. Save her, my siblings. Please save her. Who will hold you if she dies today?